This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! And guess. Wow, everybody, <laughs> welcome back to Miles Edge Face Attorney Investigations Prosecutor's Path. For those who uh, that, are, for, are, familiar, are familiar with my channel, uh, we record, we're recording this like a day after, after we, recorded we recorded Pop Up, Pop -Up Joins, Joins the, the Circus, Circus, which was uploaded about five years ago. Probably. Anyhow, we're on the Inherited Turnabout, end oh, part one of, of 12. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, let's continue. Rawr. Let's Rawr. Rawr. Oh, oh right, we're in the present. Forgot this game is a lot quieter than Public Joins the Circus, apparently. Do, do, April 2nd, 2, 10 p.m., Zodiac Art Gallery, Fountain Patio. So we found the body in the fountain in the present. Right. And that's all Uncle Ray knows about the IS-7 incident. So that's what happened to my father's last case. The truth of the IS-7 incident. What happened at the trial? In the end, Von Karma defeated us. Uh, so you couldn't prove Mr. Master's innocence? We had gathered plenty of evidence to prove it, but Von Karma was even more despicable than we thought. He was a prosecutor who would do anything for his guilty verdict. That's right, and he really did use any means necessary. Because of this, the trial dragged on for about a year until it finally reached a conclusion. Because this was before I had the free day trials. This might have been part of the reason they switched over to free day trials. Wait, does that mean that, like, um, the person, Mr. Master, in questioning would just be living at the detention center for a year? Yep. Yep. That's a bit... Excessive. Excessive, yeah. But what you gonna do? Do we have trial limits like that in the U.S.? Um... Like, we don't have three-day trials, No, we don't. I don't. I'm not sure. I'm not well-versed in I've U.S. Never heard law. It, I've never heard anything with, like, there was a year until this was solved. Right. I'll never forget that fateful day when the judgment was passed down, the 28th of December. It's April now, so it's been a little over 17 years. How time flies. The 28th of December, 17 years ago. I was watching from the gallery that day. Before the trial, your old man noticed that Mr. Master was acting strangely. He was at the breaking point, both mentally and physically. Getcha. He wanted to be found guilty. Getcha. No! Mr. Master didn't fake a confession, did he? Yeah, that was what Von Karma was aiming for from the start. Just to make him confess, end that. yeah. When your old man tried to expose the fact that the body had not been found, Von Karma used the power of his police cronies to quash that argument. He even went as far as to prepare a fake autopsy report. Great. Then. There's a bug. Sorry. <laughs> then they made Mr. Master give a false testimony and confess to being an accomplice. With Mr. Master's confession, the situation quickly became dire. But, your old man had a trump card up his sleeve. Was that the trump card he was talking to Detective Bat about? Yeah, that trump card was to be our insurance, in case Mr. Master confessed. He had asked Detective Bad to have Mr. Master's interrogation recorded. Detective Bad? Wanted to know the truth too, huh? After he was dropped from the investigation, he never stopped caring about the case. <laughs> Even when he was involved with other large cases, he really was the definition of a true detective. Oh, that's cool. The defense presented the recording, which proved that the confession was forced. Well, it seemed the detective in charge of the initial investigation and interrogation, Rip Lacer, took all the blame and was pl charged and dismissed. Rip Lacer, Replacer. Really? Oh, <laughs> the <wow>. replacement detective? <laughs> Still, at the trial, your old man exposed Von Karma's corruption and... Von Karma received his first penalty from the then chief prosecutor. That's it? The only penalty in his 40 years of prosecution. The penalty that just destroyed that man. However, Mr. Master didn't want the trial to continue any longer. And the curtains closed on the trial that day with the verdict of guilty. This poor guy! Is he alive now? That's the question. That is the question. Like, A, he seems to be innocent, at least. Yeah. So, like, he's innocently convicted- he's innocently accused of a crime, locked up in jail for a whole year, with trials going on for a year, while Von Karma was constantly, like, 
bullying him essentially in the interrogations. Yeah, it's that one that of the no reasons, that takes a toll on you. No wonder he's just like game, I don't even. This game imposed the oh guys you need to do the trial in three days. I feel like it's possibly of this guy. yeah. And yeah, like it's a, it's no real wonder it's just like just make it stop. I don't care if I'm found guilty. Yeah. My memory of that time is fuzzy, but I was also there watching my father's final trial. And I think his final regret became my own. And then DL6 happened. Your old man wanted a retrial to prove Master's innocence. But he passed on before he could fulfill his wish. After getting entangled in another case. Even six games later, DL6 is still coming back. Oh, I knew it would be big. It breaks my heart even now that I didn't return home with him that day. Oh, he didn't? Okay. And what's more, to blind myself for my own worthlessness. Uncle Ray put all of his hatred on you as a traitor for being Von Karma's pupil. I mean, that would mess him up for sure. Because yeah. he knew Von Karma, how terrible he was, and he knew Gregory. So... But it's one of those two where, like, we don't know where Edgeworth's mom is in this picture. She's presumably either not involved with him at all or, or she's dead. Or dead, right. So at that point, it's like, who's going to take Edgeworth in? I wonder <laughs> why Ray didn't do that. It Ray might be... was 18 years old. Or 19. At that point, oh, at that point, yeah, you can't do you that. You can't do that. Especially but, since he's completely unrelated. I mean, I know why Von Karma was like, I will raise him to be the best prosecutor in the world. Like, It's basically him giving Gregory the middle finger. Yeah, I know. And for no other reason. But I'm surprised that they weren't like... That Edgeworth didn't have any other family, either grandparents right. or like siblings to go to, because you wouldn't just be like, let's hand him over to this prosecutor man. Like <laughs> he seems nice. He seems nice. I already have a daughter, so I can do a good job. <laughs> I've been doing a great job with her. I've been doing the perfect job with her. Isn't she like a one-year-old at this point? <laughs> She's like a toddler. She's like a toddler. <laughs> yep. She's just in the terrible twos. I am this great. Daughter. They were the worst. <laughs> they were the worst with her. They She's were the just... perfect terrible twos. <laughs> oh. Takes off his hat. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't be. It's natural you would hate me. After I became a prosecutor, I was able to get Von Karma to show me the case file. Mr. Master was found guilty for the murder of Isaac Dover. Eh? <laughs> That's not right. Was Mr. Master found guilty of being an accomplice? But this case file says guilty of murder. There shouldn't be anything unresolved in the cases handed by, handled by Manfred von Karma. Wait, can I take a look at that file? It looks like the charges have been rewritten. What? Look at this. It's you! Suspect okay. dated Jeffrey Master 39, creator of the dessert contest. The victim's body was found inside a dessert made by the suspect. This led to his arrest in jail. He was diagnosed with... Hypogusia, and he so was treated, treated by medicine. medicine. After, After his, his own, own confession, confession, he was convicted as an accomplice to the murder. The yeah. charge is accomplice to murder. This is a copy of the original case file I received from the courts. So this must have been like a plea bargain almost, where it's like, look, we could get you found guilty of murder, but if you confess, then we'll just say you were an accomplice and the sentence will be lighter. Yeah. Why would the charge be altered? Although normally plea bargains are made so that they don't go to court at all. So I don't really know what's up with that. I have no idea. <laughs> this file it was given to you by Von Karma, right? Maybe he just didn't want you to know the truth, since you're Gregory's son. <laughs> he would have wanted to avoid another retrial before the statute of limitations ran out, after all. So what I had to come to believe back then had all been a lie. If you didn't know about it, just make sure you know it from now on. The statute of limitations has long expired, but the truth still sleeps right here. Meanwhile, there's a dead body in the fountain. Well, they got about and they're oh, examining it. Why? Oh, <laughs> but the dude's still looking in the fountain like, I wonder- I found a corner, sirs! <laughs> I wonder if there's any blood in the fountain. <laughs> After your old man passed away, Uncle Ray took over as Mr. Master's defense attorney. Although Von Karma also had another prosecutor take over his case. Perhaps he thought that, since his opponent was a rookie, he didn't even need to turn up. In the end, the real killer was never found, and Mr. Master was found guilty. No, no! Is there nothing we can do even now? Since the killer was never found, he can't withdraw his confession. I found out after the trial that... 
Mr. Master made a deal with Von Karma because Von Karma had threatened him. Of course. If you don't confess, Catherine Hall will be held under the same charges. Right. That's terrible. I don't think Mr. Master really thought that Kay was the killer, but... To protect her, he faked a confession. It, it, she could absolutely be the killer. She could be, yeah. Miles, on the day that Knightley boy was killed, why do you think Uncle Ray was at the prison? Uh, I see. You went to see Mr. Master, didn't you? Yeah, because he's like, I come here often. I have an acquaintance here. That's Master Master the acquaintance. Office. I said I'd visit him every day. I couldn't keep that promise, but... I asked Katie Pie to look in on him for me when I couldn't. Through rain or snow, she went. Every single day without fail. But, nothing has changed. Mr. Master still serves his punishment. I wonder how long it's supposed to be for. That's so sad. Isn't there anything we can do? You can give me a hug, Kay. <laughs> That's why I came here. Because I knew those ice sculptures would be on display here today. So, what are you going to do, Miles? I am a prosecutor. My position is different from you and my father. Miles. But moving past my position, what I want as Miles Edgeworth is to know the truth of these two cases. It is for that reason that I am here. <laughs> you really are your father's son. Well then, if that's what you've decided, I'll support you all the way. I'd better leave the IS-7 documents and evidence with you then. Alright, here are the documents. By the way, we the parts in orange are Uncle Ray's old notes. And then he didn't eat. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. IS-7 incident file updated. And we got all the evidence. Thank you. Alright. Alright, statute of limitations ran out on December 24th, three years ago. Uh, yep, he did that. Isaac Dover, 38, his true identity is the famous French sculptor Pierre Rouquet. Yeah, okay. He entered the contest as a cake designer, but his body was found in the defendant's room. The cause of death was blunt trauma to the head. Because the victim's body vanished, there appears to be no autopsy report. Is that the true reason? Okay. And now, here's the IS-7 evidence. There's a lot, so make sure to look it over while you investigate. Received a lot of IS-7 evidence Ray from Mr. Shields. Ray it's all chocolate. just dumps, like, chocolates... And like all these things and a teapot. On, and a teapot on Edgeworth's head, just like, here you go. <laughs> hmm, right. I'll check through it later. Anyway, there are so many strange things about this case. Indeed. Those involved in the case 18 years ago have reunited, and another incident occurs. Replicas of the statues from 18 years ago were displayed in the Winter Palace, and... Poison gas was released in the Autumn Palace, which had been disguised as the Winter Palace. The two chemicals in the Pisces case, Normalium and Fatalium, were mixed, causing an outbreak of poison oh, gas. Oh yeah, you know who I forgot existed? De Best. De Best and, um... Courtney? Courtney, yeah. <laughs> the victim of the poison gas was Dane Gustavia, a person involved in the IS-7 incident. Because he was unconscious, he received treatment in the Zodiac Art Gallery's infirmary. Larry needs to write a book. <laughs> about, about all the crazy all things that the happened. all the stuff that's happened with him. Finally, the dead body found floating in the fountain. Whose is it, anyway? And once again, the ice sculptures have melted. There are deep connections between the two cases. It's possible there are still some clues left from 18 years ago. Right! Let's get started! I heard you forgot about me! Well, guess what? Just one second! Don't tell me you've forgotten about me! Sorry! <laughs> Marty told me we did. I told you this! <laughs> Didn't I tell you that I'm the one in charge of this case? Prosecutor Edgeworth, if you intend to continue disrupting Sebastian's investigation... I think he's disrupting it just fine himself. The word good... <laughs> Why was that so long? <laughs> The word guilty will be added to your PIC report. What does she mean, guilty? Please allow me to assist in your investigation as before. I appreciate your proposal, but I'm afraid I must overrule it. That was fast. Even though we're short on hands to identify the victim right now, it's only a matter of time until we figure it out. It was Jane from Tarzan. <laughs> Jane? <laughs> 
In that case, I shall take that load off your I shoulders at like? once. Uh, the victim, well, it was someone oh. with brown hair and a ponytail, so. She has not that dark brown hair. She has, like, a brown she has fairly. Brown. She had fairly dark hair. Oh, no, I'm mixing up her hair with her yellow outfit. <laughs> We've had this conversation before, I think. Have we? I think so. Oh. <laughs> I shall take that load off your shoulders at once. Regarding the identity of the unidentified body, one person comes to mind. Really? Then tell us! <laughs> Very well. Who is it? Told you, Jane from Tarzan. It's not just the sculptures that have made a comeback from the incident 18 years ago. The body in the fountain is... Um, is this gonna be another... <laughs> Je oh, like... he's old. I, I think Dover dies the then. second time and he has hair long enough that he looks like, um, what's his name, James or whatever from Liberty's Kids. Kids. You want to try it? No. <laughs> I mean, sure, but... That's right. Wait, why? <laughs> it's likely that the identity of the body is the victim of the murder that occurred here 18 years <gasps> I'm ago. I'm sorry, I was joking! Isaac Dover. Uh, it's, Isaac, it's Isaac's body. Hey, who's that? I've never heard of him. Mr. Isaac Dover, a truly great sculptor. But he was better known as Pierre Houquet. The sculptures on display here in the museum are all of his creations. Oh, so in other words, that sculptor was the best. <laughs> Somehow I feel a strong kinship to him. <laughs> Why is that him? <laughs> He's like, I've been floating around in this fountain for 18 years. Because <laughs> he died, and then his body disappeared, and they never found it. But if- uh, Are you like, why isn't it a skeleton? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, it's been 18 years, wouldn't he look disgusting? Dead man. Dead. Oh, no, damn. damn. He's just a part of, um, Barbosa's crew. <laughs> and he looks totally normal, but then at night he's like, <laughs> <laughs> In the moonlight. <laughs> and he was the victim in the IS-7 incident. She I knew about the IS-7 incident. What? I'm so confused. <laughs> Prosecutor Edgeworth, the IS-7 incident occurred 18 years ago. And what's more, the police reported the removal of the body. That's what's on the record. Maybe. But I wonder if that really is the truth. This is a really far-fetched thing. Maybe, so Kate found the body, right? Like she saw it? Uh, dead? for the first time? Yes. Yes. She, she found it in the treasure chest, took a photo of dead. it, ran off to get someone, and then it was, it was gone. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. She's a, she's basically like loves this painter sculptor man. She is maybe, a little obsessed. Maybe they really hit it off, and she's like, "Oh my gosh!" But we can't tell my father about like our secret forbidden romance. Um. Okay, weird. I'm just gonna stop you there. What? That guy was 39. She was 16. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I thought he was like 20 for some reason. No. Okay, he was like okay. in his 30s. Scrap that. <laughs> maybe, maybe like he's not actually dead, and he was faking his own death. <laughs> like artists And then do. just walked up. Like, maybe that was, like, a ploy because he's an artist. And then artist. dressed up as one of the many weird-sounding guards. No, maybe it was, like, a ploy thing because he's oh. an artist. So it's like, oh, if I kill myself, like, fake my own death, my art will be super famous and, like, make more money. And then he comes back from the dead. And then he the comes death. back from the dead. <laughs> At first I thought you were going to do it. It's a modern art piece, faking his own death in a chocolate treasure <laughs> No! Not that. That's stupid. <laughs> what are you saying? The defense attorney in the IS-7 incident claimed that the body was never found. Not that the prosecution would ever admit to such a thing. It's Phoenix Wright. Oh, oh Justine's so beautiful! I gotta take her senior photos! <laughs> She's 26. Eh, hello? Eh, really? Is something wrong, Sebastian? No, it's just they got my pizza order wrong. Uh, also, they said they know who the victim is. That is a tragedy. What pizza did they make instead? <laughs> they gave me pepper pizza. It's so bad. And, and they put pineapple. anchovies on it. <laughs> pineapple, anchovy, and peppers. It's the worst. Ew! <laughs> I ordered the best pizza. <laughs> it's just, as that prosecutor says, it's Dover. No, it can't be. <laughs> it would seem my father's suspicions were correct. What is it, Judge Courtney? Have you finally realized that I'm much more helpful than Mr. DeBest? <laughs> oh! Hey! You! Are you trying to steal DeBest's position for yourself? <laughs> I'm doing no such thing. I just want to know the truth. And for that to happen, we need to cooperate, no? The truth is none of your concern. Objection. 
I don't think that's true, Courtney Pye. You again. Uncle Ray assisted the defense attorney involved in the IS-7 incident. The one who claimed that Mr. Dover's body was never found. The prosecution denied it at the time, but now the body has been discovered here. I'm older than you, I'm smarter. <laughs> in other words, the IS-7 investigation was unjust. And isn't it the duty of the PIC to investigate <laughs> corrupt prosecutors? <sighs> Not that corrupt prosecutor, just, I hate that just one. the ones we want to investigate. <laughs> then wouldn't you want to cooperate with those who were involved in the case? Unless you have an ulterior motive. Now that I think about it, Judge Courtney knew about the IS-7 incident. So it would seem she really is here because of the PIC. Even if you are related to the incident, I don't see how Prosecutor Edgeworth is. Oh, that's easy. He's the son of the attorney in that case, and a prosecutor taught by Von Karma himself. And what's more, he was in the audience at the IS-7 trial. I'm sure there are many points he can enlighten us on. Ugh. She's like, why him? I can't control him. Very well. I will allow you to cooperate. However, your investigation must not hinder the other investigators. The Winter Palace is currently being investigated, but the Fountain Patio is open to you. Uh, that's all that's my Courtney Pie. Now we're talking. As thanks, I will allow you to have a hug with Uncle Ray. <laughs> Overruled. <laughs> she overruled a pickup line. <laughs> if I feel your cooperation isn't needed, I will have to ask you to leave. Understood. Ah, isn't that great, Miles? Now we can start investigating. You really helped us there. <laughs> Uncle Ray did it all for himself. <laughs> he's like, and I for really, the ladies. He's like, I really want to hug with Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Uncle Ray's gonna investigate too. So let me know if you figure something out. Got it. Look who's also in the lobby. Right then. Okay, let's begin the investigation. Okay, let's do this. We still don't know where Mr. Dover's body and the Normalium were hidden. We don't have enough information to go on. You're right. Our first priority is the Normalium. Well, Normalium's used in washing detergents. Oh, that's I, I thought it I said pants. <laughs> pants. It's used in Normalium's pants. used in all pants. <laughs> but if you combine them with the wrong thing, it's just, it's over. <laughs> Don't bleach your pants. If I recall, it's a red liquid with a minty aroma. Okay. Red food coloring. Well then, let's get looking for that Normalium. Begin an investigation well, of Zodiac Dark Gallery Fountain Patio. Okay, because we never talked to her. True. Yeah, what's up? I wonder if this case and the IS-7 incident are connected somehow. It's hard to say for certain right now, but I also don't think that they are completely unrelated. But your father was in charge of the IS-7 incident, right? This can't just be a coincidence. It must be destined by fate. Oh, I should ask, who do you think did it? Do you think it was Kate? She'd have an insane... I still think it's a dual... Duo. Duo of I think Kate it's a duo and of, Delisha. Yeah, I think it's them because they both get the chemicals <laughs> and she's working. I for, There's I, also Gustavia. Yeah? There is, but I kind of forgot about him. <laughs> we be, haven't seen him very much. It would much. be really weird. But he could be like a ninja. <laughs> it or was something. suicide. Uh, <laughs> he wanted to die Isaac surrounded Dover. by chocolate. <laughs> Isaac Dover dead. Yeah. <laughs> My thing is just like. <laughs> it. I feel like it has to be a two person team because who they are i'm not sure mm. but i feel like it needs to be a two-person team to pull off all that happened without anybody noticing or noting it okay. for like 18 years because it's kind of rare to find like a 16 year old girl who's a ninja and a killer <laughs> like it's yeah. kind of hard to find that so i think it would be better if it's like i want to get um revenge on my father or whatever mm -hmm. and it's like oh let me help you out there i literally am a pharmacist and i work with deadly chemicals <laughs> Anyways, it's tested by fate. Let's solve both of these cases. I'll make sure to steal the truth for you. That sounds promising. Now then, to the task at hand. Let's resume the investigation of the Normalium. It's a red liquid with minty aroma, right? Let's go ask around. Larry Butch just had leftover Halloween candy. Hey, guard. Oh, forensics. Oh, we've recovered the victim's body. Uh, forensics are currently performing the autopsy. And what of the investigation of the fountain? Uh, the fountain is completely clear. Uh, you could cleanse both your heart and soul with it. 
A body was floating in this fountain just a moment ago, though. You could perform a baptism and you'd be fine. Oh, wait, hang on. Do, do, do. Oh, boy, Larry, but... Oh, second guard. Dude, did someone throw up over there? Second guard, hang on. Pr Prosecutor DeBest ordered me to not let you investigate anything but this room. I absolutely cannot let you pass through any further than this. I'm sorry. I won't, since I can't pass through anyway. You're standing in front of a wall. Oh no! After all, you're Prosecutor Edgeworth! If you really wanted to, this wall wouldn't stop you! Wow, you're even more fearsome than I thought, Mr. Edgeworth! Just what kind of human do these people think I am? <laughs> yeah, Lariat Butts threw up on the ground. Because... <laughs> we'll check that out later. Yeah. Miles, how's the investigation going? Well, little by little, I'm beginning to see the entire truth behind this case. Oh, that's good to hear. Uncle Rabe had better not fall behind, either. Yeah. I love this theme song. This case seems to have a lot in common with the case 18 years ago. I agree. The melted ice in the Winter Palace and the body of the victim from 18 years ago. I wonder why nobody ever noticed the body was missing after all this time. The only family Mr. Dover had was a young son. His son... And Mr. Gustavia's son, who attended the same oh, elementary crap. school. I forgot about that whole thing. After the case, they both went missing. Uh, what? And they haven't been found yet. I haven't heard any news about Mr. Gustavia's son being found. But as for Mr. Dover's son, he was found and his inheritance was delivered to him. So, um... And because of that, Mr. Dover never had a proper funeral. That way they were able to make it look like the body had been in police custody. Can what? you open the organizer and show me a picture of the son's elementary school family photo? Yeah. If you please. Okay. Um, so Isaac Dover disappeared. Wazam. Which Wazam. One, which one's his son? Is it the one that I mean, I would assume ugly? it's the one who's he's, he has his hand on his, their shoulder. Okay. Okay. And then Stavia. And so his... Boomy is uh, Dover's son, and then. A Kuzan or whatever. Is... Kuzan is Gustavia's son. Okay. So... Se seemingly. <laughs> Gustavia's son has not been found? Gustavia's son has not been found, and they found Dover's son. Yeah, it could still be, like, an epic thing between the sons and the fathers, where it's like, oh, maybe, like, the fathers were the people who started, like, the... Not the wrestling ring. What is it? <laughs> um, Steel Samurai? No, no, I'm thinking of, like, the gambler people. You know oh, how the they were to, You know how they were trying to catch the ring? Oh, the, the smuggling ring. The smuggling ring. Maybe they, like, started that or something, and then, like, one of the sons, like, died. Oh. Or something, like, in the midst of that, and then they were really mad at each other, and then, like, Gustavio was like, I will make you disappear. <laughs> Why does like, he sound like Palpatine? I will make you disappear. Disappear like Darth Maul. <laughs> Darth Maul didn't disappear. He has spider legs. Oh, yeah, legs. he has spider legs now. <laughs> that way they were able to make it look like... The, auto the the autopsy report had also been forged, so nobody but the defense... I think that was a glitch. I don't think all the text I showed think it was properly. A glitch, yeah. I don't think it was anything important. <laughs> so nobody but the defense ever found out. Von Karma, you would go that far. He would go literally... Larry! Larry, Larry did you up, barf? Bro. Hey, Edgy! Move out of the way! <sighs> what is it now? I'm in the middle of sketching Justy in all her beauty. I got a feeling this is going to be my masterpiece. Quit getting in the way of my art! Really? How much have you drawn so far? Well, I only just decided on the composition. The drawing part starts now! Isn't it a bit early to be calling it your masterpiece? Well, this is Larice we're talking about after all. Uh, yeah. Hmm, this smell and this color. Don't tell me this is a puddle of tea. Oh, that's better. Huh? There's a piece of pottery in the middle of the puddle. Pottery shard H -H? data. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, that's PH. I was about to say Pierre Hoquet. Okay. Pierre okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> I wonder what broke. I think I recognize the design. I should probably show this to that man and see what he has to say. Well, we'll have to do that next time because. I'm hungry. Yeah, we're hungry. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. We're finishing up that investigation, probably. Probably. And that's probably all we'll be able to do, because it's a long We're investigation hungry. period. We want to eat. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> Have a great day, and God bless.